What's up everybody? Stan here from Game Rebel once again. Today I'm going to show you how to fix Near Automata on PC. If you're watching this video, your resolution is probably screwed up and you found me because you're trying to fix it and I'm going to help you with that. First thing you need to do, go down in the link below, uh, in the description below, click the link and go to this web page. All right, once we're here, what you need to do is essentially download this program right here called FAR. It uh, uh, stands for some, uh, near auto, Fix Automa Resolution. I think that's what it stands for, something like that. However, download FAR, you just click it here, and then we're going to install it, okay? So, uh, click this, we'll download it. You'll see it downloaded right there in my bottom left, right uh, around my right shoulder. We're going to click it, okay? It's a little program. We're going to run it. And now here's what you've got to do from this point forward, okay? You need to select a product. We're going to go down and click FAR. That's what we need, okay? Main branch, just keep it main. Select, select a branch, main, that's it. Okay, and then you're just going to click install. That's it, okay? I've already installed mine, so it won't let me. But that's what you do. You hit install, and it installs, okay? Now, we open up our game. Let me move uh, this whole thing this away. And let's open up Steam. And we will uh, open up the game, and I'll show you the settings. Okay? So here we go. Live. Just show you guys, like, in real time, you can see it all work. Okay? The only thing that I couldn't cover is the install because I already installed it, so sorry about that. But uh, as this game loads up, I'm going to get my controls figured out. Yeah, yeah. Control shift backspace and control shift zero or O, one or the other. That's what we need. Okay. So as it's running, it should pop up any second now. Hopefully, it doesn't freak out my recording because it might. Let's see. Where's it at, game? Come on. Where are you at? My game does take a little while to uh, open up for some reason. I don't know why. Let's go, game. There it is. Okay. So my resolution is actually all set up, so it shouldn't have too many problems. Okay, so we're going to do uh, Control Shift Backspace. That brings up our menu here. Control Shift O brings a. a, a readings and stuff on the top left cfps and all this stuff i don't really use it but we'll just leave it open for the sake of uh, showing you guys this thing now while you're in here um what you it depends on what your problems are okay but usually you're going to want to jump down to uh, direct 3d 11 settings and go down here and select a minimum resolution and a maximum resolution i want to play at 2k period i don't want to play at any other res and for some reason it keeps reading my 2k monitor as a 1080p monitor screwing up my whole program with my three monitors I got three 2K monitors, and it's making me play at 1080p in the center, which moves all my crap on my left and right monitors. All right, enough talking with my hands. So uh, what you want to do is this will fix your resolution. You could do something like that, set it whatever you want. Uh, and then there's uh, some windowed, what, see, window management. So you can uh, do borderless. Um, I just do borderless here, and then I put my override res right here. And then um, I left all this alone. Uh, I did hit uh, continue rendering when I click away. So if I click out of the game, game is still going. I could still play it. I think that's actually in the input settings. So you go into input settings and um, oh, I guess not. Oh, mouse cursor. Yeah, there's there's all kinds of settings. So you could I, I set it to where my mouse will go away if it's not moving. So if we just leave it alone, let me uh, get out of that. So here's the mouse. You see it right above the A? It should just disappear. Yeah, see, that's a setting I added to the game because I'm streaming. I'm playing this game, streaming it for people, and there's a little fucking mouse in the middle of the screen because I'm using a controller. So uh, there's a few other things that you can do in here. Um, you know, you can do, you can make it compatible with other uh, pro programs. You can have different on-screen displays. You can change your volume settings. 
you can alter Steam enhancements, you know, like the achievements and overlay notifications, stuff like that. Uh, you can mess with your UI. Um, you can mess around with your camera a little bit. I played with this, so you can get a different angle and you can take cool screenshots and stuff. Um, there's uh, all, just all kinds of stuff. You can uh, mess around with your textures and make your game look better. Um, there's, there's all kinds of stuff, but essentially you install that program and then you push control shift backspace when you open your game and it just works. You can fix everything from there. Do a full restart after you do that. Sorry, that is my phone, not yours. Okay, sorry about that. Um, and then, uh, you know, you do a restart once you have all your settings, you might have to do a couple restarts and then you'll be good to go. The game will just boot right up and ha uh, have no problems. So I hope you all learned something today. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. I really need those. I'm, tr I'm trying hard here, guys. I'm trying hard. I could use those likes and subscriptions. Really, really could use them. I'm, I'm making all kinds of cool stuff and showing you cool things to do with games. Uh, and we have a good time on stream. So I highly recommend you give me a follow. Thank you very much once again, and have a good day. Enjoy your game.